what you'll find is out there for those of you who are going to have some idea used or somebody's going to steal your Instagram likeness or, or what, when you run down the rabbit hole, which you probably shouldn't, you're not going to find an amazing person at the other end of this transaction. Like a hundred times out of a hundred, you're going to find somebody that's probably fairly fearful, frustrated, struggling in whatever endeavor that they're trying. Um, and for the folks that are, you know, potentially would try to do these types of things, you're not flexing your muscle. This is the online trainer show, trainer show, trainer show. This is the online trainer show. We shouldn't have a podcast. Jonathan, we didn't talk about, um, we didn't talk about the the commentary that we got on the on the podcast. Some somebody DM'd Jonathan and myself several days ago. Did you even see that, Jonathan? Do you remember that? I let you respond. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I um, Jonathan was me. You know I what saw... it reminded me of? I'm Ooh. I'm perfectly fine getting feedback. I mean, when I'll talk to you about it, I'm perfectly fine right. getting feedback. I'm so happy that people like like trust care us enough. enough and care enough and actually like like care about how we do enough to give us feedback on the other side of it though (laughs) i care so little about the feedback (laughs) that there was a one of my favorite uh uh uh, like short videos is howard stern responding to feedback and you guys seen this no no it was it was a caller called in and it was the howard stern show and this is like years ago probably like a decade ago and he was like, he was like, hey, Howard, I've got a piece of feedback for you. And Howard's like, I'm going to stop you right there. I don't care. <laughs> He's like, but you don't even know what it is. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't care. <laughs> but Howard, you have, to, you have to listen to your listeners. No, I don't. It's my show. I don't have to listen. I, I don't care. And it was just, and I mean, there was a lot more profanity and stuff like that. But what he I actually should. said, we, we'll, we'll find the video, Amber. Well, you guys are talking about something. I'll just find the video. I'll Google it during the podcast. <laughs> and, uh, and and we'll put it in the in the show notes, maybe with a like profanity warning, because there actually is a lot of wisdom to it, right? You know, it's Howard Stone, like obvious, like he's not a buffoon, right? Like he's brilliant, right. Right. Um, but the way that he delivers it can come off that way just because of how aggressive he is, right? But uh, but there's a lot of wisdom to it, and there's a lot of wisdom in like when you should and shouldn't care what other people say, like. If you like, you can't listen to everybody. You can't please everybody. And I mean, what we're doing here with this podcast is different. Right. I think that that's very clear. The obvious choice for this podcast would be for me to say, this is the John Goodman online training show. And I'm going to try to find a different guest every episode. And we're going to talk about the same thing over and over and over and over and over again at infinity. And it's not going to have much personality. And that's going to be the end of it. Right. As opposed to what we're doing here, where we're trying to kind of mesh genres, you know, like I find single disciplines, I find single lines of thinking to be really uninteresting. I find fitness really uninteresting. I find marketing really uninteresting. I find business really uninteresting. I find behavioral psychology really uninteresting. But when you start to mesh those things together, Mm -hmm. it becomes fascinating. I find podcasts to be really uninteresting. I can't like... Sorry, man. Those interview podcasts from people who are not actually interviewers. Mm-hmm. Nah. Like interviewing <laughs> yeah. is a lifelong skill to develop. Right. In order to be good at it. Which is why most podcasts are abhorrently terrible. Right. And I knew that this podcast would be abhorrently terrible for a long time because we're trying to do something new. We're trying to build a new skill set. And we're trying to also um, perhaps invent our own way to do this. Right? right. Meshing comedy meshing uh societal commentary and online training like what a weird thing to do and as a result it's not for everybody right Right. and so if we listen to everybody you know we have debrief meetings once a month and and we listen and we take into account feedback and we talk about it but if we listen to every piece of feedback like we would probably turn into a boring interview podcast because that's what everybody would expect right Right. so you only ask for what you expect except what happens when you happen upon something that you weren't expecting that brings you joy in an unexpected surprising way 
like sober keto. You don't quite get it, right? Yeah, like sober keto. You don't quite get it. It doesn't quite make sense at first, right? (laughs) And then you're like, I don't, I don't quite get why I enjoy this. (laughs) Me neither. Like, what is this? (laughs) Oh my god. Oh man, I I can talk to you about. We can we can talk about. um, (laughs) Oh my god. We can talk about not sober Amber and when she brought codes for humanity out to our. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna tell this story. So we had our company retreat please, last year in Mexico. Please tell the story. Yes. She's and already it was mortified. The last, it was the last night at our company retreat, and everybody, you know, a bunch of people brought their families. People basically have the option to bring their families or not. Some did, some right. didn't, right? And uh, but we had the last night, and it was mostly like it was just our staff. Really, I think Lou's wife was there. Uh, there might have been and a few other people, but. We were just, I mean, it was non-inclusive, so we were all, you know, getting a lot of drinks. And then Amber's like, okay, I'm going to bring out Codes for Humanity. John, is this okay? I have the Jewish booster pack. <laughs> what? Now. There's, there's a, what? No, no, yes. Wait a minute. There's a Jewish <laughs> booster pack. Yes. For, and for I did Carl not know this. Lot of really nasty things about the Holocaust in the Jewish booster pack. Believe yeah. it at that. Oh my. And... <laughs> And to to add to this, I mean, I'm Jewish, right? But right. Uh, I actually did my I did my 23 and Me, and I found out that I'm 99.6 percent Ashkenazi Jewish. Okay. Uh, so like I'm like I'm like as Jewish like Eastern European Jewish as you can get. Right? But we have two <laughs> members of our team who are very observant Orthodox Jewish. Really. Oh, one of them, Abigail beautiful. wasn't there, but but Joey, our creative director, was there, right? And uh, uh-huh. and he's just like he's just like funny and he's chill. Um, but it was it was a raucous night. It was Lou Schuler. Um, I I got to see this video again. He had to get his wife to read the code for him because he was laughing too hard. Really, and his face was too red, and he couldn't actually like muster out the words. <laughs> this oh, this is the God. most Amber Reynolds. Amber oh my Reynolds God. story that I've ever heard because only Amber Reynolds would be fully prepared to offend across <laughs> across genres of nationality and ri- yeah. right. like she's gonna like she's never gonna be underprepared. And now I see that that, that transitions even into her debauchery. Even in the debauchery, Amber Reynolds is fully prepared at all times. Oh, by the way, I've got the Jewish Jewish booster pack. When she uh, for cars when she brought out the Jewish booster know, pack, it would have offended people, but I wasn't yes. sure. But it was I have like literally this many cards. It wasn't a lot of cards to go through. <laughs> oh my! God. It was it was like a heavy bag of cards <laughs> that she brought with her to Mexico. It's like a like bigger you can box. It's a lot of cards. Yeah, her you fully, committed to her, that. Her fully complete heavy bag travel kit of debauchery. She took the next uh, bag you, just Amber. for that. Just, well just for that. Then she got, oh, she got debauchery for it. Make something socially awkward. I'm there. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I see that now, Amber. Um, I'm not surprised by that. I'm, I'm less surprised by this than I am by uh, Dan Keto's uh, sobriety over the course of 64 <laughs> some odd. That was the story podcast. I thought you were going to tell, so I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. Good. Wait, let's, wait, 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 wait. What's, let's, let's dig deep. Time. Let's dig deep here. Amber's like, nope, that is not appropriate for the show. <laughs> was there another story on that on that trip? Uh, what I had to explain to Lou. Oh yeah, no, that's <laughs> not. We're not going to no. go that far on the no. podcast. <laughs> oh, there was some. Know. There was some innuendo that needed to be translated. <laughs> no. Now I'm. I am. I'm. One hundred percent frightened mm. that something happened that's too lewd for this production to be yeah. mentioned, uh, and I'm, I'm all. It's that's also filtered. Bad. It's all definitely filtered my opinion of Amber. Uh, also, <laughs> like uh, I'm, I'm really, I'm at a higher level of concern for for knowing her at this point. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, although again, still not shocked. Really, uh, just just a little bit more cautious to interact with her on a consistent basis. Uh, I don't want I don't want the debauchery to, to rub off on me. God God bless you all. Um, it's justified. It's, it's it's amazing that the PTDC made it to this point. Uh, what I know what I know now about the inner workings of the organization, uh, <laughs> it's pretty much just miraculous uh, that that you guys are able to do anything productive at all in any shape, form, or fashion, and to be able to do it in a productive way for more than 
I don't know, three months at a time uh, is also shocking to me. I, I feel like I know too much. I feel like I've gone around the metal head of the Wizard of Oz and I'm behind the curtain now and it's scary. Like, I don't feel better <laughs> about getting back to Kansas now. I feel like I'm going to be eternally stuck in Oz. That's that's my feeling. The more I learn about the organization, um, quite frankly, the more concerned I am about my career. Um, so thank you for that. So do do we... Do we have a topic today? Because you guys are scaring me again. Uh, what, what are we talking? What's what's the gist of today's episode? Are we talking about the thievery? Are we talking about stealing things? Is that right, Amber? I thought that would be good after the message I got from someone today that talking about the <laughs> somebody stealing your stuff, and chances are it wasn't really your original idea anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wait, so what happened? So- what was the message? I had sent, so somebody had uh, requested to join our students and grads uh, Facebook group and I, they were not in the system. And so I sent them a message like, Hey, you requested to join our group, but I'm not seeing you as a student. Like what's, what's the email address that you registered with? Like, Oh, I'm not a student. I just downloaded your course from a pirated website. (laughs) So they just, right. (laughs) Right. Oh, I thought, Um, I thought there was more to it. Yeah. I saw that message. That was pretty funny. Yeah. Oh my God. I I thought there was more to it. No, okay. no, I no. Just just pirating everything you've worked for up to this point, Jonathan. No more than that. Um, yeah, I mean, only only that. I actually legitimately don't care. I <laughs> 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 turn again. Yeah, shocking, um, <laughs> shocking that you said that, Jonathan. Yeah, there, there's there's a few reasons why. One is, I'd be uh-huh. I'd be much more upset if nobody stole anything. From right, me. exactly. There's that. Exactly. Um, I'd be much more upset if nobody was looking for it. This person is never – like the the absolute number of people who steal is so low and they're not the same person who buys. You know, it's not like I'm losing a customer. Like, right. like somebody who's going to steal something like that is not the same person who's like, yes. if I can't find it to steal, I'm definitely going to put my credit card down. Like they're just, yeah. just going to steal something else. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not like, I'm not like losing a customer, you know, if I can help somebody that really needs it, then I'm happy about that. And they might tell somebody else about it who might buy it. You know, there's a critical mass with these things where you kind of just need to be in front of enough people. Yeah, that that makes sense. And you kind of do it however you can, I think. (laughs) Right. You you don't often hear a a group of bank robbers saying, hey, we're going to turn over uh, capital savings and loans on Tuesday. If that doesn't work, we're going to go in on Wednesday and get a low interest loan from them. Like it just normally doesn't, <laughs> normally doesn't, the plan normally doesn't go that way. It's an either or proposition. You know, you're not, you're not running the spectrum of financing typically. So I, I sort of get what you said, but let's, sh- shall we dive into it anyway, though? Because I think we've yeah, all. Can I, can I tell a really good story though? All, of, all I want you to do, Jonathan, is tell a really good, I'm just happy that yeah. you're talking because you you look a bit peaked t- today. I uh, am, I am, uh, yeah. I don't have much food in my body. Yeah. Uh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> just say that, let's just say Mexico's gotten the better of me the last couple of days. Um, so I love the, I love the. You know, the Montezuma's revenge. It's like, I don't know what they're getting revenge for for me. Like, I'm not Spanish. No, you did like, something. I'm not, the one, I'm not the one who, like, took out the Aztecs, right? You've done something. I mean, uh, uh, you know the whole story about Montezuma? It's actually fascinating. No, we don't. Is this, is this a second? Is this an am, additional story to the, the first Mexican, story? The Mexican in this panel is listening very attentively. Please right. tell us the right. story of Montezuma. So, right. <laughs> Montezuma right. <laughs> Montezuma was the leader Kill. of like the most incredible sophisticated society. Oh my god. Around and they had no contacts with the Europeans. And they had this incredible society like apparently you could you could look into what it was. I mean it was just it rivaled anything that existed in the world. And uh and the Spanish explorers basically came. I can't remember what the guy's name is. But the Spanish explorers basically came and like took out this army of like a hundred thousand people with something like a hundred men because there was this myth amongst Montezuma and their society that there was going to be like this intruder who's going to come and do all of this damage and they were so scared and figured that this was the myth coming true that they basically handed over their society and got slaughtered it's a really Mm. crazy story um 
and then the Spanish guy, so they, the Spanish, like, just, like, slaughtered and raped and pillaged them and, like, like annihilated their society. It's pretty much, like, it was just, like, the worst. Like, if you think, like, Christopher Columbus was bad, <laughs> so what the Spanish did to, to the Aztecs is, like... It's like what's worst. happening in your, in your intestines at the moment. Yeah, it's pretty bad. On a, uh, on a microbial level. What was I going to say? Oh, about stealing. I don't know. So let me let me tell you the story about stealing. So there was this. Um... Speaking of like pillaging and like taking over yeah, other right. people. <laughs> right. No, I love I love this example because I think that it's really instructive about how to think about responding. So it was a software company that had a referral system that said, "Hey, everybody who you send to us that signs up for a free trial, right? Every five people, or whatever it is, you get a year free of our software." And so what inevitably happened was a, a small percentage of users were just sending like fake accounts. They were just like creating mm. fake emails and signing them up. Mm -hmm. And instead of kicking these people off of the system, what the owner did is he contacted these people so that, you know, when they caught them, he contacted these people and he basically said, we caught you. Would you like a scholarship? Mm. Which I thought, you know, hey, basically, we caught you. We know you did this. Mm -hmm. If you can't afford our system, we still want you to have it. Mm -hmm. Would mm -hmm. you like a scholarship? If you don't need a scholarship, please pay for it. But if you need a scholarship, 100% happy to give it to you. Wow. Which I thought was a pretty neat thing. That's pretty anyway, cool. I like, that's the, I, like the, I like the strategy. So, so, we've, so we've all had this experience. <clears throat> I had it recently um, with a with a coach who took a quote card of mine and literally just put his name under the quote card, um, which yeah, which really? which I thought was a unique way to to go about it. Because don't I, don't yeah. you love it when they don't even try? Right, I, you know, like <laughs> they like don't even cross your name. It was it's literally like... my graphic. Uh, oh. and just blanked out where it said Rensel Jones and put their own name underneath it. Oh, Did you ever see the, no. the meme from The Office? It's like, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, quoted by Wayne Gretzky, and then underneath that, quotes Michael Scott. <laughs> 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 he just like, wrote his name underneath. <laughs> you've, made no, you've made no attempt to at least change the graphics on the, on the quote cards. <laughs> I, do, I do quote cards all the time, but I think everybody here has had some instance where some, some here's the thing. Can I can I tell you what the thing is? It's this is this is a, a gripe point. This this is something Hello. that chaps my hide. Yeah, I know I know you want to know, Carol, because you're sober. You don't have anything else to do right now. Um, <laughs> I mean, you you got to be here. You might as well hear what I have to say. <laughs> if, if you got to be here, sober, you might as well hear what I got to say. So, um, my thing is, I am more than happy to tell you, hey, use that thing that I told you, man. Or if I gave you this. Go ahead and go ahead and post it, man. Like, you know, if that helps you with your clients, say exactly what I said. Like, I'm much more I'm the person that you don't have to steal a dollar from because I most likely give you five. Right. It's just my nature. Like I like it. And that that's what really chaps my hide. Like, I don't think that anyone has ever asked me a question about anything in the context of wellness or in the context of this business to the point I understand it. I don't know everything. Mm -hmm. Um and I blatantly said, I'm sorry, I don't have time to help you. Or I, I can't give you a full answer. Here's a shallow answer. Like, I'm going to go into the depth of whatever it is that you need to the best of my ability. I understand at the time, like, I'm not going to shortchange you. Like, you'll, you'll never get this statement from me. Uh, bro, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm really concentrating on what I'm doing right now. I, 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 can't, I can't get to that. It's, go ahead and post that in the group and ask somebody else. Like, I will never tell a person that. So I don't see why it's so difficult to just not be a dick. Can we get the dick counter going again? Is that all right? <laughs> that we, needs to be in the bingo card. Can, yeah, can we can we get that? Can you can you upper right hand corner of this broadcast? Can we get the dick counter? Because that, that's twice for me so far. Um, so, so that's what I don't get about it. Like the and and this, I think I can speak for the organization when I say as a whole, women should stay in it. No, I'm just kidding. I think I can speak for the organization <laughs> when I say as a whole, like. Everybody here genuinely wants to help you. Like all the people assembled in this in this 
circle of friends, the circle of trust, uh, like uh, like the, what is it? Meet the Fockers. Uh, you're you're in the circle of trust, Fokker. Um, like all all the people in here Great want movie. you in the circle of trust. Good movie. They want you in the circle of trust, right? Like we want to. I've seen people bend over backwards in this entire organization to really go out of their way to help somebody. You know, and, you know, and and to quote, uh, you know, an, another another sort of De Niro movie. And from me, you still, huh? From me, you still from me. Um, <laughs> You know, like it's unnecessary. That's what really chaps my heart about the about the entire thing. And I know Keto, when we were talking about this discussion on the on the back channel on Slack, uh -huh. uh, you you had some you you had recently had some uh, interaction with with this phenomenon. <laughs> That's as, right. As we like, we, I'm I'm very interested to hear your sober story about it. <laughs> my sober story. Yeah. All right. So a few months back, I had I wrote a post. Um, if you remember, like in the beginning of the year, uh, Adele, she had like a massive transformation. Yes. She posted a picture of her birthday. She wasn't even saying anything about herself or her body. But of mm. course, the Internet, that's all what everybody yes. made it about. It's like, yes. oh, my God, she's so skinny. So there's all this discussion going on. Anyway, I wrote a post very much in, 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 in congruence with what I believe that is like, hey, you know, women are not here to do whatever the heck you think they should do with their bodies. Right. I don't care if you agree or disagree with what she did. This is her body and she's a lot like the anyway, it was like very, you know, better explained or whatever. What happens is that that post it was it was very well written. I oh, remember. thank you. I, well, that post. I, I too, uh, yeah, it, it kind of went viral because yeah. it got picked up by uh, Feminist News, which is like a massive uh, Facebook page with, you know, over a million followers or whatever. And they shared it and they didn't link to me. They they added my name at the end, which is, I mean, something, but they didn't like tag me on it or anything, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, great discussion, tons of comments, people following me, adding me like a lot of traction for me coming from, from all that, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then the next day, uh, a couple of coaches, like friends of mine, they're like, what is this girl doing? And they're sending me links to this woman. I don't know, I don't even remember what her name is, but it's like essentially the exact same post with a few words here and there changed. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. instead of, instead of, uh, instead of, I don't know, like instead of, but they put like ass or, you know, like just like ridiculous mm -hmm. little mm -hmm. changes like that, but it's like essentially my post and I can recognize it and it's <laughs> pretty much the same. So it was like a blatant kind of case of like copy paste and her trying yes. to replicate what was happening for me, like the virality of, of the post, which didn't happen. Right? right. So, so what did I do? I go, and and you know, and, and Petty Carol is very much like, what is Petty <laughs> <laughs> What is Petty Carol gonna do? And so then <laughs> like, like, sounds like an sounds like an 80s toy uh, <laughs> that talks back to your parents for you. Exactly. You, you can't tell your dad to shut up. Buy Petty Carol. <laughs> Stick it up your <laughs> uh, I love I love the term Petty Carol. I'm sorry, I, I had to jump in there because that's that's a movement for me. Pet, Petty Keto is a. Can you guys send us some artwork of Petty Keto? Uh, I, I want to see some artistic renderings of Petty Keto. I, I'm sorry. Go go ahead, Catalina. That was too mood. good. Yeah, yeah it's so, a mood. That's an entire mood. It's a mood. So so then I go and I'm like kind of like seeing you know trying to figure out like who is she, what is she about, and then I'm like, oh, you don't have a personality. Right. And then right. I'm like, that's why she does, right? She has no right. voice. She has. That is exactly what I would expect. To hear. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very petty kettle pet statement. Yeah. Yeah. I was not disappointed in any way by yeah. the actions of petty kettle. No. In this story. <laughs> very is, good. If I could pull the string in Carol's back. <laughs> No that would be one of the three things that it says. <laughs> oh, you have no personality. Uh, uh, you, you, you're you're a, you're a, you know you're an alcoholic lightweight. That would be another one of Petty Kettle's sayings for Jonathan. You're such a lightweight. Um, and I can't think of a third one, but I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure it'll present itself. But you know, to your John, John, didn't you know that they watered down this beer, John? This is like. <laughs> This is like this is like half watered down. It's beer. Come true. on, you could have like two of these. It's the same as like one Where's beer. Where's the line? Come on, Where's the line? I wasn't lying. Oh, oh my gosh! You're off the rails here. 
the I've I've I don't know if we survive a second year of the podcast, but I've already seen that we we trend down drastically after after Thanksgiving holiday here. Uh, obviously, that's that's very noticeable. Hey, Jonathan Goodman here. This podcast is made possible thanks to people like you. Here's a quick word from our sponsors. Are you still trying to pick your online training software? If so, let me make this easy for you. Go with PT Distinction. It's truly the best, and I'm not just saying that because they're our sponsor. We actually use PT Distinction for our own online fitness business, online trainer coaching, and we're really happy with it. From onboarding to programming to client communication, PT Distinction has everything you need to run your online fitness business smoothly, and it's super simple to use. Now, normally they offer a free 30-day trial, but as a listener of the Online Trainer Show, you get a free 60-day trial, so you can make sure you love them before spending a dime. If you want to deliver first-class service to your clients while reclaiming your time, then visit onlinetrainer.com slash PTD to sign up for your free 60-day trial today. If you're a fitness nutrition coach that's looking to master online coaching so that you can help more people, make more money, and have more freedom, then the Online Trainer Academy can help. OTA gives you the framework, knowledge, and support to have predictable success with your online coaching business. From marketing to business development to how to assess and motivate your clients online, it is constantly updated and refreshed to keep up with a dynamic market. Not only that, OTA is proven. In seven years, we've helped over 30,000 coaches in 87 countries go online. Truth is, we know what works, so you can get right to the success part. And in case you're busy working a full-time job or you're a full-time parent, know that you can go at your own pace. There's no deadlines to complete OTA and you have lifetime access. That said, if you are ready to make a rapid change and finish the course in the next 8 to 12 weeks, you can expect to invest 3 to 5 hours each week on the program. And here's the best part. If you join today, you will make an extra $1,000 a month in 90 days or I'll give you your money back. So if you're ready to build the fitness business you want and make the money you deserve, go to onlinetrainer.com slash academy to enroll today. And I hope to see you in there. To your point, Keto, you make a good point here in your story, in the in a petty Keto story. Like, here's something for the people who are copycatters out here. You know, number one, I think I can speak for the board, the panel here again. We kind of don't really care. You know, it, we, we pity you more than 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 we than we are angered by. It. Like, sure, there's some anger. You put your heart and soul into something and somebody just blatantly steals it. But ultimately, we kind of don't care. I don't have any anger. Well, not you, Jonathan. <laughs> I don't have any anger. You know, not, <laughs> not, not, not you, Jonathan. You know, but when, when I don't have when I don't have bugs and parasites. Right, right. Pretty much. Home, so <laughs> but, I sleep great at night. <laughs> But no. but it's uh, it, it it means so little to me that it's funny whenever people are like oh don't you care oh isn't this awful I'm like it's actually kind of funny yeah, for for like it's actually kind of kind of sad there we go for, yeah. that's that's what I'm getting um, at but mm-hmm. I just don't it 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 means so little to me I mean I look at you know it's like that same time that somebody stole something from us it's like how many things am I going to sell today right. <laughs> forty right. fifty like sixty yeah. I don't know right right. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm good. Well, like Jonathan, you know, uh, e- emotion isn't one of your strongest uh, per- That's actually one of Petty Kelly's things. Jonathan, you're an emotionless automaton. Emotion is not one of your strongest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Jonathan, show some emotion, please. You're like a robot. Thank you. Like find a custom place that would make us a care at all with the pull string. Oh We've got my it. God! Just I'm oh. willing to donate. I'm willing to contribute. <laughs> if you can find that, I, uh, my hands. Are, I'm in for at least a hundred bucks on that. I don't know how much it would be. Yeah, I'll be in. I'll be yeah. in for a hundred bucks too. Um, what I also think is going to be really, really important is that we we do some audio deep fakes. I don't yeah, know if you've yeah. heard about this stuff, but basically you can just you can just type a line and it'll say right. Carolina's voice. You just give him like a voice track and it'll match it. So Carolina doesn't even have to have to do anything we, to do with it. We, we've got like enough audio with her voice. And it'll just be it'll just be a deep yeah. fake like string doll. That would be a funny yeah. business, yeah. actually. We, we've got enough audio to do it. Um Love it. but you know I, so, yeah, that's good. Amber, you don't have much to do, so yeah, why right. you're not busy in this podcast. As, as she takes notes yeah. to create 
a fictitious doll based on one of our podcast co-hosts <laughs> that will mm. that will play three just minutes. Move that up. <laughs> just move that up the priority list. Just, just, yeah. just move that up. Slow up. Bump, bump slow some up other on stuff. updating the OTA. <laughs> we, we we can get to that anytime. Yeah, that, you know. We gave that a six week. We gave that a six week time to to make all of these amazing improvements. Let's just get that done by right. middle next year. This is that, that'll work itself out. <laughs> what we need you concentrating on here is a, yeah, is a, is a keto doll, petty keto. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. This is how we think at the PTDC, by the way, guys. Like, <laughs> if we can get that ready soon, that could be that could be the Christmas gift of the year that everybody wants. It's like it's like a tickle me Elmo, but petty keto. So much sadder and so much more aggressive. <laughs> so- so it much more hurts aggressive. your feelings. It just hurts so your much feelings. More it will make you feel so unbelievably <laughs> awful about yourself in every way. It's what you need. It's that, exactly what you need under your Christmas tree. That it's it's what you need to give to somebody you really don't. Like. <laughs> the petty kettle. You're like, I really want to damage my kids' emotional stability for the rest of their life. Petty kettle. Pull the string, kid. You blame it on the doll. That wasn't me. That was a doll. Uh, as we go through the yeah. therapist session in family therapy, uh, it was a doll, uh, Dr. Brown. Uh, that wasn't me saying those things. It was Petty Kero. Um, however, I digress. But to Jonathan Sport, Jonathan doesn't get angry, but I know Petty, Petty Kero and myself and a few of you out there, you'll, you, your, your initial response will be, you know, sort of shock and anger. You know, like, like Kero, did you, you have the, did you have the emotion of, you know, how dare you? You know, or the audacity or the unmitigated yeah. gall. Like, you yeah, know. it's like I did this. It came out of my own brain. Like right. I typed it with my own fingers. Like, how dare you? And then I was like, oh, right. you have nothing else to offer. Right. I get it. And yeah. So, so for, for, for those of you out there, that. <laughs> These lines are gold. Can we add, can we add that one? You have this? nothing else to offer. <laughs> can we add that one, Amber? Okay, you what, peaked at four years old. What's scary is that I don't even try. Like, this is, the, this is genuinely how I am. I think it just rolls life. off your tongue, kettle. Yes. <laughs> peaked at four years old. That one's got to go into the penny kettle. Peaked at four years Holy old. crap. Oh, I feel offended. And I didn't. I don't even know if she was talking to me in that. But I feel I feel offended by that one. Well, well done, kettle. You're. Your 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 petty knows no bounds, my friend. Uh, you're you're a petty Jedi. Oh, you could be the petty Jedi, uh, the oh, Jedi Mater Mayor, and the petty yeah. Jedi. The circle uh, is now complete. Yeah, the circle. Is, yeah, the, the force is balanced now. Um, oh my gosh, what was I even saying? Oh, but what you'll find is out there for those of you who are going to have some idea used, or somebody's going to steal your Instagram likeness, or or what. When you run down the rabbit hole, which you probably shouldn't, you're not going to find an amazing person at the other end of this transaction. Like a hundred times out of a hundred, you're going to find somebody that's probably fairly fearful, frustrated, struggling in whatever endeavor that they're trying. Um, And for the folks that are, you know, potentially would try to do these types of things, you're not flexing your muscle, right? Uh, You you can't, you, you can't. You can't have somebody else do your squats and then you get a, a nice set of legs. Like it just doesn't work that way in fitness. doesn't work that way in business, you know, and to Jonathan's point, my thought process all, has always been, well, I can create faster than somebody can copy. Right. Like I'll just make something else. Like I'm, I'm not hung up on any one thing yeah. um, because I'm practiced in getting good at creating things. And when you take things from other people, whether it affects us or not, and usually it doesn't, you never get any practice at creating something. Like, what's the phrase? Isn't there a quote, Jonathan? Anything worth doing is worth doing badly. Isn't that a isn't, isn't that a quote? Have you heard that before? Amber's heard it. Uh, Keto has. Jonathan yeah. hasn't. Um, John quoted it somewhere. Oh, uh, yeah. Where exactly I thought he did. I thought he quoted it somewhere too. Oh. Um, it's probably from one of his books because John only knows quotes that appear in his books. Um, and yeah, it's, right. it's, it's probably it probably happened. It's a long time ago. <laughs> it was probably last long. There's there's been a lot last of books. week. Um, Every once in a while, I read through some of my books, and I'm like, this is right. really good. And then other times, I read through one of my books, and I'm like, eh, this could have been improved. I've yeah. got no comment so, here. I haven't been paid like, yet. I feel like this one maybe might not have made it to, yeah. to, to publication. Um, in in any case, go but, ahead, Jonathan. What what I will say, there's one case where I do get litigious. 
And so if there's potential reputational mm. damage mm -hmm. involved, I get litigious very quickly. And I'll tell you an example of that. We had somebody years back clone the PTDC Facebook mm -hmm. page, copy our logo, and turn it into the PTBC, the Personal Trainer Business what? Center. And because on Facebook, the logo was so small, you would have mm -hmm. no idea wow. that it wasn't us, right? Unless you went to the page and you saw that that was a new page and you knew that we were not a new page, <clears throat> right? You would have no idea. And this person was sending out ads from the PTD, PTBC really? to a scammy multi-level marketing supplement oh, business. Oh, no good. That's where I get litigious very quickly. Because at that point, <clears throat> this person is using the brand and the reputation that I've worked really mm -hmm. hard to build to sell some scammy mm -hmm. crap. And it looks like it's right. coming from you. Mm, yeah. But the same thing has happened multiple times on Twitter where people have copied my account. Where they they copy my face or they use a picture or something like that and they'll sell supplements or like steroids or something Sheesh. like that. Um, which is funny. Like if you're going to sell steroids, <laughs> like you're going to pick a five foot four, 165 pound guy. Like I, I feel like, yeah, I, I, I don't think you understand steroids. My I feel friend. like you could have made a better which, choice. Yeah. I feel like you could have made yeah, a better choice. Probably, probably not the but, best representation of a roided out, uh, human. Yeah, definitely Cal not. Calves, definitely maybe. not. Calves are pretty um, big. Yeah, calves, yeah. yeah, no, I got. Maybe I got, it was, I got maybe was knees legs. down. Yeah, I got thick legs. Was thank it a my, knees down picture? Thank, thank my dad for that. Yeah, thank <laughs> my dad for that. Was it knees um, and down? Ex except when I when I take a picture and there's a bad angle, and then I get people telling me that I should work yeah. out my legs more. I cannot believe other fitness professionals on the internet. <laughs> Bro, yeah, you're looking strong, but don't forget leg day. It's like you're a jackass. Welcome to being a woman like, on the internet. Right. Everybody like, commenting like, this is on what one, you look like. <laughs> this is one picture. Like, thanks for the uh, unsolicited mm -hmm. comment on one <laughs> photo. Like, my God, man, you're like a respectable professional. Like, I don't care if you said that as a joke. Like, what a hilarious thing to say. Um, <laughs> The only other, the only other time where I mean I got it taken down was somebody was I mean I I, I always will get it taken right. down. Like there have been times when people have copied our entire site, like literally ripped all of our content, copied our site, sold their book through it, that wow. type of thing. Obviously, we'll get that taken down, but I will usually do it at least respectfully. Like I'll give him a chance to do it before I get lawyers involved. This dude selling supplements, like he got a lawyer letter right away. And I was like, I'm pushing for damages. If you don't take right. this down within 24 hours. Right. right. Because this is, this is like a serious problem. Um, but the, the funny times is this has happened twice now where I just get a random message on through Facebook. And it was somebody being like, Hey, are you on XYZ dating site? <laughs> Cause I think I just matched with you. Yeah. <laughs> so people so people people have catfished with my picture wow I and mean, why? the people who they matched with like knew thank you who petty carol <laughs> yeah thanks petty carol appreciate that i mean if that's like their uh, step off can you imagine the poor guy no kidding <laughs> petty carol lives <laughs> oh Petty Caro is is something that I'm not sure I want involved to this podcast anymore. This but is, this is awesome on so many levels. I can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm overly entertained. I'm I'm overstimulated by what's happening here today. Yeah. It's just too. And I'm and much. I'm so low energy and so sick that I can't, can't even, even think of a comeback. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna absorb it and then cry by myself. <laughs> the man afterwards. can't even defend himself, Carol. For God's sake! I know. Oh man, Pity but I'm enjoying it so much. Please don't Ruthless. stop. Oh, oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh my gosh! Pay Carol strikes. You know. So so, but there's there's a lot of wisdom in what Jonathan said just now. Um, there's also wisdom in what Petty Carol said, um, but. <laughs> Fundamentally, if people are taking things from you, you're probably ahead of the curve, whatever that curve is. And the people that are 
the people that take things, if that's your if that's your MO, if that's your 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 method of, of doing business, you're always gonna be waiting for somebody to create something. Like how frustrating must that be? Like you just gotta sit around and wait for somebody else to do something well when you could be perfecting a skill yourself across that whole time. You're 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 never gonna get your business is never going to accelerate from you copying things that other people are doing. Um, utilizing strategy is different. You know, that that's that's something that you probably want to do. You know, success leaves clues. Um, but just blatantly copying something word for word, you don't even have any context for why it exists. Like if someone asks you two questions deep into the conversation, you're absolutely lost because you have no reference for why the thing even exists. Uh, don't don't be that guy, bro. Like don't don't, <laughs> don't be the copycat uh, who who has nothing to offer. You've got. I feel like I need to give like a, a, a high quality relationship talk. You've got so much to offer. You know, there's just so many so many awesome things about you. You know, you, you've got a full head of hair. Um, start with that. Uh, and you speak quality English or your language. Awesome. You know, now go now get out there, man. You know, there's there's somebody out there for you. <laughs> there's, just some, there's, some, there's, there's some population out there for you. Um, Amber, this is this is the petty carol. <laughs> Ding! There's nobody out there for you. <laughs> Nobody wants you, okay? <laughs> Nobody wants you. <laughs> you probably heard that there's somebody out there for you, but actually there isn't. Um, <laughs> thank you, Petty Kettle. I'm already uh, so I'm for this doll. I'm all about this. Man, I'm, I'll tell you, I'm willing to contribute financially just just to see this happen. Uh, like, again, I'm I'm good for 100 And that's $100 US, so it's like $7,000 Canadian. But we have uh, so to I mean, which shirt is Carol wearing in this doll? The the tiny tacos and t-shirts, or like we have all of these liners for Carol. The, the best part is the best part is this is actually a positive economic transaction because we can just replace Carolina right. with the doll right. on the podcast. And then you don't need me anymore. We'll just pull the string cheaper. every time. Yeah, it'll sense, be cheaper. So. <laughs> just pull the string. I yeah. think I think Petty yeah. Carol's got to be in the bikini because Petty Carol. <laughs> Petty Kettle is taking the the shameless bikini selfies. Petty yeah. Kettle is a summer kettle, if in my mind, it's a summertime kettle. It only makes sense. I agree. Um, Sunshine. Yeah, it's it's just a summertime kettle. Uh, I think. Do you feel like you know with the with the as we get closer to summertime kettle that your petty powers rise? You know, like yes. Superman. You know, I'm entirely gets- solar powered, oh. and yeah. So this is yeah, this is going to be really good for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this, it's, it's going to be great for pettiness season. This brand of nonsense is why I signed on to do this show. The, uh, you know, <laughs> and it only paid off just now. But I now I completely feel like I made the absolute right decision to be here. In addition to the debt that I had for OTA level two, uh, which I'm still working off. But those two <laughs> things are the entire reason that I'm here. Uh, you know, participating in this show. So. We've got to wrap this thing up. It's 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 time. Oh, I said I, I shouldn't have said that, Jonathan. We're going to offend the view. No, you didn't. Okay, you just said we, we got to wrap this thing up. Okay. You didn't say we the, have to go. That was the context of the critique that we they got. By the way, you know, um, yeah, the, the, you guys are always saying that you have to go. Um, and because we yeah, do, I, try, I, try, I tried to understand it. Um, I, I did, uh, and I was very gracious. I appreciate it. people feel invested in it enough to say, hey, here's how I think it could be better. Like, I appreciate that. That was, that was, uh, it took, mm-hmm. and it took exactly. guts to, you know, specifically uh, DM me and Jonathan, you know, like that, this was a direct message to, to us. Um, apparently doesn't know the women on this show at all. So that's, that's a thing. Uh, we should have just forwarded it to Amber. You know, let's can, can we send can we, we send you have. over to our podcast producer? She'd love she'd love to talk to you at length about this. Um, <laughs> She's got nothing else to do. Yeah, if if any of you, if anybody listening has any <laughs> feedback whatsoever, or comments, please send it to Amber at the or Whatever you need, yeah. 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 or drunk, Ta- you yes. know, message Amber. Yeah. Yeah. So is the feedback that John says I have something else to do? I gotta go. And that was yeah, the that, that was it. That yeah. was, yeah. That that was feedback. All to complain about on the show that was it. that that was the thing that that you know that that was the thing 
Uh, and I think all right then, if that was it, <laughs> that was it. Right. If if that's all you noticed about this podcast, it's kind of, that was kind of my that was kind of my reaction. <laughs> like, Jonathan didn't say anything. I just saw his little circle bubble go down to the message. I said, "Well, Jonathan seen it," and then there was like three more messages, and I saw the circle bubble of Jonathan's head go down to three more messages, and there was no commentary whatsoever from Jonathan <laughs> in the thread of that discussion. <laughs> At no point did he say anything. He didn't acknowledge anything with an emoji. He didn't tap like on any of the comments. Just sheer, <laughs> just just a high level of apathy from from Jonathan <laughs> in every way. Uh, you know, so I, I played I played the you know so the the. The nice host. Uh, hey, man! Thanks so much for this. Is you know, this is this is the petty right. response. <laughs> Ding! I have read your message and chosen not to respond to acknowledge. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's so real. That's so real. So, if we have any final message here today, or if we had any message at any point today at all, uh, we'll we'll end with: if you're getting copied, let it go. P- pity the person. Get angry first and petty. And then after your 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 yeah after you've you've gotten angry and petty let it go it, you know put pity them pobrecito uh, you can send that back to them uh, I've been working on my Spanish see I told you I would um, and on the other end if you are the copycat do the work man like you're just you're not you're not going to ascend to any level that you'd like to get to by by circumventing the work. The effort is where the payoff is. That's how you're going to get good at it. We've all had content and written word and videos that were horrible. It's documented on the internet. Go back and see some of it. Um, the right. only way that any of us got better, we just continue to do the work. Uh, so, so do that. And um, is it time for the jingle? Yeah, okay. yeah I got to get out of here. I got, I got, I'm, I'm double parked outside. <laughs> <laughs> that was the other part of the comment. It seems like you guys are always double parked outside or something, which I thought was an odd <laughs> comment too. I, I didn't. And again, I tried to, but Jonathan's got to go. He's double parked outside and I'm triple parked. <laughs> Carol's quadruple parked and Amber's quintuple parked, which is odd because she's at her house. Um, <laughs> we'll see you next time on the online trainer show, solving all your problems in 50 minutes or less and rambling you through the holidays. Uh, you can find the show notes at, Online trainer.com slash podcast. Uh, jing, jingle, 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 jingle. Oh, jingle all the way. Jingle all the way, you guys. There you go. Slay, Aww. slay. Do we, should we, should we have a, a different. I was just going to say, Ren, you want to rewrite it? For- yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Uh, <laughs> this is the yeah. online trainer show at Christmas time. It's holiday. This is the <laughs> online trainer show. We still shouldn't have a podcast because there are no PS5s for anybody to buy. Thank you. <laughs> this is the online trainer show. Trainer show, trainer show. This is the online trainer show. We shouldn't have a podcast. <laughs>